Hey, it's Joe at Red's Fly Shop here. I'm gonna do kind of a re-review on the Squala Carbon Waiter that I started wearing uh, over the winter. And the reason I wanna do a re-review is I've got a lot more days on them now. And I actually, as I got used to the product and have sold the product, I got used to the sizing a little bit different too. So the Squala Carbon Waiter, this is kind of your go light, go fast waiter. It is not a super heavy duty waiter for those that might be spay fishing in cold water conditions and need to layer up with a lot of clothing. This is for hiking, it's for moving, it's for stepping over logs and deadfalls and fishing in uh, situations where you're gonna be doing a lot of walking or creating perspiration, which for me is gonna either mean rowing my boat on the river here when it's clear or hiking and fishing on foot where I'm constantly moving during say uh, spring, summer and early fall. During the winter time, if I was fishing winter steelhead, I want, would want to wear it with, with more bulk. So I started out in the size large carbon, and that allowed for plenty of layering underneath. Um, this is a medium here. Initially, I felt like the medium was just a little bit too small. And the reason is, is this wader is meant to fit, once it's on, like a really good pair of pants, like hiking pants or hunting pants, where it's got a, a just a very, uh, a good articulation for stepping over things and I don't want a lot of bulk in my wader um, and this is the you know part of the feature of the carbon is it's got a really nice waist high conversion here as well so let me buckle these up and this is how I'm wearing them 90% of the time is just like this right here now I don't want a whole big bulky baggy area here i've just got my base layer like this i if i need to layer up i'll put a jacket on over the top of my shoulder straps but most of the time i feel like i'm wearing these waist high it's just way more comfortable so initially i went with a large because i wasn't comfortable getting them on over my hips although once i have the medium on it fits absolutely great and so a few times in store people have tried these on and they've been like oh no that's not going to work if you're trying them on, just give them a chance to get them on. Imagine putting on your favorite pair of pants if it didn't have a button and a zipper in order to do that. Once they're on and you button them and zip your favorite pair of pants, they're comfortable and loose and you can hike and you can move and you don't have a lot of extra material. So that's really the story of the carbon waiter. A um, couple of the features, you can adjust the length of the shoulder straps, but it's concealed up in here. So you kind of adjust them once just slide that up and you can adjust the length of the shoulder straps. But I kind of like not having buckles on there. Uh, when I take them on and off, I just climb in and out of the waders like so. In order to convert them um, back to chest high, how you just take and, and slip this up and there's actually a magnet that locks those. They snap up like that when I want to go back to chest high. Very simple light design. Uh, there is YKK zippers um, that are water resistant but not waterproof, um, both inside and outside for basics. Good flexible wading belt, uh, several say, three belt loops so it does stay in place. One of my favorite things about the waders though are the gravel guards. The way the gravel guards get down here real low, Cameron. And the way the gravel guard works is it actually is non-binding the way your leg moves like that. And there's a nice tall neoprene sock with a big gap. And it just seems to create this real nice non-binding feel when you're hiking and moving. And it's a hypalon-like material here and then a very tough, flexible material back in here. And these gravel guards, there is a clip, but you don't even need to clip them. They stay in place every time. And then you don't pick up a lot of cockaburs and stuff like that. The feet are articulated, very comfortable, work great. Uh, but the number one thing uh, about the Squala Carbon Waiter is its breathability is amazing. I feel a bit like I have not been wearing breathable waders all these years up until getting uh, these carbons. So I'm extremely happy with them, but they're the lightweight, slimmer fitting waiter that I'm not going to put a bunch of bulky layers on. I recommend wearing like a tight fitting base layer under these, especially if you're going to be walking. Uh, a nice tight fitting base layer like a poly, you know, some type of polypropylene or even an Under Armour is gonna take moisture off your skin and get it off your skin onto the material and out through the wader much quicker than wearing, uh, you know, anything that might be overkill or even loose fitting materials. Uh, I've got the Squala sole wading pants on underneath here. Uh, if I'm gonna wear a pair of pants that 
I'm gonna wear to the grocery store or whatever and then put my waders over and those pants are great. But I recommend minimizing your base layer just for comfort in general underneath waders in warmer conditions so that you don't get sweaty. And if you don't get sweaty, you're probably not gonna get cold. Most people get cold because they've sweat underneath their waders and their waders aren't breathing properly getting rid of that moisture. So uh, zero leaks, zero issues, nothing but 100% satisfaction. Like I said, I jumped from the larges to the mediums that I gave the largest one of the other guides here. And uh, that other guide is Leif Quinsland, our long, longest time guide at Reds. And here's his testimonial. He said he had never considered leaving his house in waders, getting his pickup, driving down, meeting his clients, guiding all day in the waders, and then driving home in his waders, and then just hanging them up on the back porch. But he says the squala carbons are so dry and comfortable. It wouldn't have even been a thought before but these waders breathe great, and that's what he's doing now. He shows up to guide River Ready in his Squala carbon waders. So I, I thought it was a really great testimonial. And uh, if you know Leif, you know he's not a big gear guy, but when he starts to rave about something, it's good stuff. So anyway, that's my re my re-review on the Squala carbon wader. Uh, also, follow our channel because I'm going to review uh, waders that I've had for longer periods of time that I was wearing prior to these as well. Those are a couple of sets of Sims waders, and I will run you through my uh, kind of my experience and testimonial with those waders too. So jump on, follow the Reds Fly Shop channel for more waiter reviews.